Welcome back to Bedanza Disc Golf. Today, we're gonna do the most accurate, appropriate, totally normal disc comparison ever in the history of YouTube. Shout out Infinite for sending me out this little tote thing, but we're gonna be taking a look today at the MVP glitch here versus the Zono S, the Zoni S. Now, is this going to be the best comparison ever? Uh, yes, because they're both approach discs, and that's basically where the equivalency stop. And we're also gonna be playing them on a pretty tightly wooded track, or so you just says. I might need to ask somebody for help because I need to leave my phone in there to upload a video. We're at Rosedale Park, like the lower one. Is this gonna help my game? No. Do I bag both these discs? Kinda, but no. When I built my bag in Colorado, I had said that like I wanted to build it with the intention that like I would have a bunch of discs that I could choose from and pull from. The Glitch and the Zone OS were both in that, but neither of them have seen a single tournament with me, not a single round. So do I actually bag them? No, but hypothetically, could I? Honestly, at this point, I'm literally just like walking down the sketchy path, hoping that I see other people and that I'm going in the right direction. Is this whole one? Cool. Are there any disc craft players who actually throw this? Like, granted, I haven't seen like Ezra's bag or Brody's bag, and it's Brody's tour series, so I'd imagine he has one in his bag. But does anybody actually? But does anybody actually throw the Zone OS who's on disc craft? The glitch. I know Drew Gibson throws it, but that's about it. So like, these are cool discs. I don't know if anybody actually uses them, and I don't think I'll actually will. But they're also like super fun, especially for like a shorter track like this. They're all like 200 and then I have no idea the actual distances we're just gonna be launching. All right, glitch. That just got some use, that's great. So no ass. Go in. Oh, let's go. All right, both were a bit short. I thought they were both better, but. No, look. Oh, I made it, let's go. I was ready to reshoot that a thousand times. Oh, there's a tree there. Oh no. I saw, well I saw the second tree obviously, but I thought I threw a perfect shot. Oh, that's super slippery. I'm gonna die with this camera. I did not see the tree that the glitch hit though. This is kind of a really cool course. Probably shouldn't go for the throw in. But what's the glitch for if not? I tried to throw it in, that was a really bad attempt. Oh! Once again, I promise this is leaning, not you. Dang, I hit the cage on that zone putt. I was probably in the way. All right, we'll do the sensible thing. And then the glitchy thing. All right, one under a piece. Glitch is the box up there. I kind of like the flexi gap with the Zone OS even a little bit more than the glitch gap. Just gonna try to pump it right up the middle. Super straight disc. Oh, I kind of did. Skip up. Oh, no. That was a lot better than I expected. Skip. This thing is so beefy. All right, I can't believe we smacked the gap both of them. I'm pretty happy. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't know where the glitch went. This one skipped up. The oh, down there. Oh, it's just perfect glitch distance, too. Who needs to putt? Let's go, dude. Oh, so bad. Okay, this round might convince me I need to glitch in my bag. All right, tell these guys walking. Basket's like that way. It looks like it's 300 something feet, but I got no idea. There's no like signs for distances. It looks farther than other ones though. Glitch might be able to get there on like a sneaky inside line. Biggest thing is it looks like there's a massive hill down to the right. The glitch is awesome. That's a little bit inside of what I wanted to, or outside of what I wanted to do. So I don't know why this is gonna be a tough little flexi line. See the gap down there. I'm gonna try to highlight it in the edit. And we're gonna smack it with the Zanias. Did I actually? I actually did it. That might be parked. <laughs> Let's go. All right, not parked, but a bit outside the circle. I don't think I could throw the, the Zanias this far. No, inside. Should've just done this. Nope. Ow, something's falling on me, what the heck? Right there. You see that little guy? He's just raining stuff down on me, just chomping at it. I saw it was like bit in half. It's like, that's not the tree, that's a freaking squirrel. Which is pretty good. You guys mind if I play through? Thanks. All right, they threw down the hill. Let's not do that. Up and to the left. Get around it. Ah, I got one more. Oh geez, I like that tree. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks guys. Those are some great birds, holy crap. Gotta love to do that when you play through someone. Come on. 
that was such a dirty putt, dude. That was such a dirty putt. I don't want to say much. But the question is, does this like definitively prove which one is better than the other? And the obvious answer is yes. Man, that thing's got some late flip. It's gonna be tough zone, oh, asshole. A lot of flex. Get the nose down. Oh, get through, dang it. Just like lifts when it gets out of its Anheuser. Stay up. Oh, I think for these ones, you kind of got to give it a glitch bit. Oh, dang. Brutal. You guys are giving me those putts, right? Thank you. I don't have to putt because they're still behind me. <laughs> All right, we still don't even really have a credible bit on the basket. Nice turnover for the glitch. It looks pretty long. Again, you're gonna have to be a tight flex with the Zone OS. Seems kind of hard to throw. Too low, dang. That one I, I beat in for a while was like actually in my bag for like all the winter. So it's like, got a lot of late flip. Doesn't have the stability that glitches typically do. I'm gonna go through this high center gap. No, it's too much. Maybe try like a roller. Do it. Oh my gosh, works so good, let's go. Okay, the problem is I have absolutely no idea where the heck that zone OS finished. Just looking for, oh, on the right side over here. Wow, I feel like that got through the gap further than any of my other shots would have. Cause I'm pretty sure I would've like hit one of these trees with flex forehand. Also pro tip if you wanna be a YouTuber is uh, for disc golf specifically, you gotta leave yourself outside the circle so you can make highlight putts. That's just the rule. No one wants to see you park baskets all the time. Actually, this one is gonna be a little zone OS throw in. Let's go, come on. I was a little too amped. Zono has got one back from the roller to throw in play? <laughs> Come on. All right, this one is for sure an ace bid for both of them. Straight ahead there. Zono has the box. You left. Oh. No, too hard, it's gonna turn. That thing does not have stability anymore. Those are my putting putters my, for fun, these peers. Stay up. Dang it, too low. Kind of skip. Oh. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, dang. Dang, these went so far. Dang it. There it is. Man, this is to bring it back to, to level scores. Got a little hyzer angle. That's what I was worried about. All right, I guess I need to be throwing that one in. Gonna be real, I've heard some people say some pretty crazy things about both of these discs. Glitch, kinda nasty. I mean, this one is pretty beat, so it's like, has that late turn, which is really nice. The newer ones have some stability sneakily, especially surprisingly, the lighter weight R2 ones from the OTB drop, they're pretty stable. That being said, I've heard some people say that like this disc is completely unthrowable. And like, yeah, it's like not for everybody, when I've seen people say this disc is unthrowable and I watch them throw, they're throwing it pretty nose up. So when you're throwing a backhand, and like this obviously because like how, how blunt this disc is, like how big it is from here, if you're throwing a backhand, if I'm throwing an Anheuser, I need to be released, like the Anheuser angle is where it is this way. The nose angle is where it is this way. A lot of people when they release Annie's, they'll release them like this. So it's like, it's on Anheuser, but you can see the nose is up. Like you can see the bottom of this disc. You need to release the Anheuser like this so you can't see the start of the disc. Even a little more nose down will like put it into the ground obviously and these things can fight against that. I've seen some people like throwing those backhands or the forehands. When you throw a forehand like this, you're throwing a nose up. So this disc is gonna stable out real fast. It's also gonna fade out real fast. If you throw it like that, you're gonna be able to get these little flex lines. I'm not the best at throwing a Frisbee. Obviously you know that. These discs are fun, man. I don't know if you'd ever use them in competition. This is very zoomed in, but they're fine. Sorry that you're seeing my face so close. How you like them pores, baby? This basket's like all the way down the hill there. Glitch gonna have to honestly put maybe a little hyzer going down the hill because down the hill will make it more understable. Zone OS, a lot of flex. I don't now know how I'm gonna get the Zone OS there. We're gonna still try the flex because we can. Skip straight, counter skip. Yeah, that's not bad. That's kind of like the safe play to get it down there. You, this would be an electric ace to get. He's got so much late turn now. <laughs> what a great kick. Let's go. Nice big putt here. Stay right, dang. I mean, good throw is like going into this hill, but that kick to just park it? Thank you very much, Mr. Hill or Tree or whatever kicked it. First bogey of the day. Silly putt that I was talking. I, I try to never talk while I'm putting, especially when I'm like further than 10 feet. Sometimes I do. And I'd say 60% of the times that I do. 
I missed the pot. <laughs> So apparently there was an alternate that I walked by, and then that one is called Pride Rock, and I'm not freaking running up to that, I'm gonna die. That's so fun, honestly. I feel like they were really good. Maybe they didn't get far enough though. Oh crap, now it's time for some luck to find these. I thought they were perfect, I thought you had to go inside of this. You need to go outside of that branch. Oh, I found the zone, just save far. Okay, this is gonna be a sick shot if it happens. Oh, it kinda worked. Oh, does this one even have a look? Maybe? Very sneaky little Scooby. Oh, dang it. That would have been electric. Glitches down here, I'm not moving it because they're there. Did you drain it real fast? There we go. Good par save. Both of them. Okay, definitely need U disc. I think they're probably pointing me in the right direction. This is 17. We gotta find 11. That's the train calling for me to get some birdies. Woo. All right. It is here. I should have for nothing. Really wants me to get birdies. That's crazy. Cannot throw this thing nose up, even though it's going up the hill. Huh. Not throwing nose up means throwing as hard as you can straight, not uphill. <laughs> yeah. All right, glitch. Oh no, don't turn. Yeah, that actually might be really good. No, there's a tree. Shoot, I didn't see that tree. <laughs> good thing putts don't care if you're going up or downhill. Dang it, they do. Another bow ski, dang. There we go. Yeah. Well, totally just missed those shots because I thought I was recording and I turned off the recording. The glitch, I'm so glad it didn't keep turning because it was chain high and humming. It would've been cool to ace, but it sucked to like actually be recording and just like miss the recording and then ace. And then the Zone OS was a good shot too. Hit the gap and then went like straight right. So we're gonna call that one a wash. The Zone OS actually was like 40 feet from the basket pin high. So better luck than I thought, but we're gonna call it pars because people are waiting on me. Gotta like lace these lines and move fast because I keep holding them up on accident. Yeah. No! Okay, this is a great little right side gap for this one to skip up there. Yeah, let's go. All right, if I make this, you have to subscribe. If I make it into the base of the pin, you have to subscribe. That was the full sentence. So it looks like Yomi. That was so low, I don't know. Might actually be circle one. Doesn't matter. I will say, you guys remember when like, Brody and Ezra came out and they were like talking about the zone and they're like, yeah, it just flies like, it's less stable at slower speeds. I don't know if I've ever actually experienced that. Obviously I don't throw hard enough or as hard as them. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not throwing it right. This was a fun whole days. Oh, zone OS has the box too. Oh no. That was not nearly enough. Kick something. That's so bad. <laughs> Pretty straight at it. Got a sneaky little look with the Zone OS here again. Oh, dang, sit, sit. Okay, it's that. It's gonna do things only a glitch can do. No, it's not. No. No. It's gonna do things only a Zone OS can do. <laughs> no strokes lost or gained. Okay, I just totally forgot to record, but we're gonna snag him this time. Oh, why did I do that? Well, they're both parked but it doesn't count. Let's just do that same thing again. Flex forehand through that left gap. No, get around it. Oh, yes, thank you for getting lucky. This went up the hyzer gap. Oh, go in. No, two left. On the positive side, they're both actually slightly, slightly closer. Hit into the root system here. Absolutely parked. Lefty putt, that's how you know it's good. Now I don't know which way to go. We're gonna try that left side. I walk for like three minutes down the other path until I realized it wasn't it, and then you walk right towards this path and it says, 16 this way. And I say, dot me this way. So we got a couple gaps it looks like. We could try to just keep this Zone OS forced over all the way down that left side. Sounds kind of fun. <clears throat> yeah, that's inside and that's slippery. We're gonna try a straightforward gap. Since we threw the dumb gap with the zone, we're gonna have to throw the dumb gap with the glitch. Dang it! Oh, great kiss! Oh, I thought I hit that tree so hard. All righty, Zone OS kind of blends in there. We're going tur force over, force over in the bucket. Not in the bucket, but way calmer shot, way better shot, parked. Honestly, I think that might show as well, like the, you throw a little bit less power, a little more spin. 
a little less stable. So maybe Brody and Ezra are onto something and I just have to play around with them more. It's a little rude of the glitch to get a little bit of a beneficial kiss off of that trunk. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Easy pars all around. All right, this layout has been so fun. Hole 17, two to go, straight ahead of us. So I must lost the box, they both parred. Cause I can't make a 35 foot putt save my life. See yesterday's video for more evidence of that in a tournament. Okay, we got this flex forehand. Maybe we're gonna try the flexi backhand gap. This one's a little harder for me to keep the nose down because I feel like it's a little easier to just like keep the shoulder up, boom, drive that nose down on a forehand. Overemphasize that on the last hole, but the backhand, it's really hard to like fully commit, especially because I'm not great at backhands, form wise. <laughs> especially these annies. Just park it, you know? And then we'll ace it with the glitch. Maybe ace it with the zone OS? Oh, let's freaking go! Yes! Yes! Come on! That's so cool! That's a true ace too! First shot! <laughs> that was so pure. Once I saw it make that turn, I was like, that's the perfect width and height. <laughs> Get down. Oh! Run it down, baby, run it down! That's how you race a bogey. This is not the place to run it down. There's not a lot of rocks. Please tell me it's that. Please tell me. Oh yeah, it's in there, baby. It's in there. <laughs> Man, that's the ace train now. That was the coolest ace I think I, I, well, no. I got that one in tournament, but like, in terms of the flexi flight and it being with the zone OS, I don't even know how far this hole is. I have no idea. I don't know how far any of these are, but. Yes, dude. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, you could probably barely see it through there. Not the easiest one to shoot because we're on a platform, but Zone OS, pure the line again. Back to back? Oh, too stable. Oh no, not back to back. Maybe like go back to back, one Zanias, one glitch. That's what I wanted to do, just uh, about 40 feet to the right. <laughs> All right, we're down there. Basket's up there somewhere. Okay, I actually do have to get up and down. This is a little trickier than I thought it would be. That's not the backhand gap. Oh no, am I gonna go ace bogey again? I do that all the time. Well, I don't ace all the time, but when I do, I do it all the time. Where the heck did the glitch go? Get back left. Okay, not ideal, but kind of what I wanted to do. Might have to just throw it in. Dang it. Okay, please don't double. Well, better. Single. Let's go. And finish her out with the little glitchy boy. Double putt. English putt. Well, I think that uh, ace trumps everything. So it looks like Zone OS is just officially better than glitches. It's subjective. I mean, I don't know what to tell you about it, but this is so fun. If you wanna check out another video where I'm comparing a couple discs with a little bit more rationale behind it, check out this one right down there. For what I think is my furthest flying mid-range, thanks so much for stopping by. Subscribe, because I aced. I don't know, that's the rule. I don't know what to say. I mean, that's just what you have to do. Oh, I should sign this thing. Also, this is exactly one year anniversary of when I started my YouTube channel is the day that this video is uh, being recorded. Ace number 10 is my 10th ace. There we go. Witness by YouTube, baby. That's all. Okay, love you guys, bye.